But the church is not known for being good at social media. And I think pastors and church leaders are frustrated because they're like, well, we're posting all this stuff and nothing's working. So this is like right up your alley to give us why aren't churches effective when it comes to social media? Um, there's so, I don't know, so many reasons. <laughs> um, stop having, uh, cause I think they're trying to manage their social media hmm. and that's not what you do with social media. Um, if you have a social media manager, you've made the wrong move in a church. I'm sorry. There's probably a few people. I'm sorry if you get fired after this. <laughs> Call me. I'll hook you up. Um, you need a social media mentor. Hmm. That's kind of what I go to, like, uh, uh, Ephesians 4. Like, so one of the things that we would say in, like, sales is that sales is everybody's job. Hmm. Like, the receptionist, like, they need to know, like, everybody know like everybody's excited everybody knows what that social media is everybody's job on staff wow uh because i need you to think differently about this and i and i had this aha moment while i was i did a, a talk in kenya this last january with uh it was like the top 100 like young business leaders in kenya and i used an example of church and i said See, the problem is some of you, if you have 100 people in an audience, um, you think you're speaking to those 100 people. You're not. You're speaking through those 100 people. Hmm. Whether there was social media or not, the principle is whoever shows up Sunday morning, you got to stop thinking that you're speaking to them and you got to start thinking you're speaking through them. Which, whether that was technology or not, like that's the idea, is that you're trying to speak through them so that then they carry those conversations out to other places. Hmm. So it always it always uh, felt weird to me, uh, like when I would go to like a church and they would say, "Turn off your cell phone, silence <laughs> your cell phone." Wh- why? <laughs> why the average person has six hundred you know, connections that they can influence. And so if you have a hundred people there, that means you potentially are speaking to 60,000 people. Wow. But you're going and saying, please turn off your cell phones instead of let me teach you how to use this. Hmm. Let's teach you. We, we make it about, um, so I'll, I'll tell you this is that um, I'll tell you this is that I was working with a huge church and they said, um, we just want you to come in and we just want you to look at stuff. Just come in, look at things and tell us what you think. And they were getting ready for Christmas. And I was just kind of looking at they were they have all of these like photography stations set up. And I said, see, you guys aren't you guys aren't observing when, when watch what happens when somebody goes up to a photography station, they go up there and again, you have these beautiful backgrounds, like they're amazing and people get their family pictures and that's great. And they have that photographer there that's taking the picture and then you're handing them a card that says like, go like, please go and download our thing. Like again, it's, it's all about you, hmm. but what's the behavior? The behavior is, they go and get the picture and then the photographer has to wait while they take out the phone or they hand them the phone and say, can you take one with the phone? <laughs> so I said, we're gonna change that for this next weekend. What we're gonna do is, we're not gonna have photographers. We're gonna have hosts. Hmm. And those hosts are there to just take their cell phone, take the picture, be nice to them, and then say this, because here's the problem with language. The language is, they go and say on the screen, Follow us on Facebook. Uh, who cares? <laughs> do, do you know what I had the host say? Hey, tag us in your photos so that we can show you some love. 
Love it. Because what, like, people want more likes. They want to be noticed. They want love. Like, that's the idea is if I told you that I invented something, right? If I invented something that allows <clears throat> you to interrupt somebody's day and tell them, like, a message from you. You would like, I'll pay a billion dollars for that. Yeah, it's called liking their photos and interacting. 95% of all brands, including churches, don't do it. So when they leave that woman's conference, when it says that, you know, your church, like, loved their photo or whatever, that's not what they feel. They feel I matter, I belong, I was noticed. You know what they don't need? Somebody else telling them to follow them on social media. Wow. And, and so even when it came to teaching some of the staffs how to use social media, I would just observe and I would say, okay, show me how you do that. And they would go and say, well, here's everything we're tagging in and we like that and stuff. I was like, yeah, but why don't you go to the feed and look through there? And I would notice, I, I remember there being this one beautiful shot that there was a, a, a girl that they were following in, in their church and uh, it was sunrise and that she was uh, jogging and she just said like, I love God's creation and da, da, da. and the person, the person scrolled past it. And I said, whoa, 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 why didn't you stop and say something or like it? And they said, well, because it's not about us. Whoa. I said, okay, say that again out loud. Because that's what you all do. You all do this. But say it out loud. You mean you only like the stuff that's about you? Why don't you change your thinking and start saying, yes, we want to encourage this person that on a Tuesday, they're getting up early and they are communicating to their entire audience like God's creation. We are for that. Yeah. If it is... If it is the character of God, show it some love. Like, if look at the feed and love on the God flavors. Ignore the rest of it. Because guess what that person will probably do? Do more of that. Hmm. And so that's what starts to happen is you have to realize that your church's social media accounts are nowhere near as powerful as the collective social impact of the family, the tribe, the community. And resharing your Instagram photo from your graphic designer <laughs> is just a big turd. That's number three. <laughs> that's no, that's number two. You got one left. 